All right, all right, folks. Welcome. My name is Joe. You're watching the Joe Wentz Project TV right here on YouTube. Blow budget guitars. I've I've talked about that quite a bit on this channel. Um, yes, there's some really bad ones. There's some really good ones. There's some middle of the road ones. I guess you could say average. Um, I'm known on this channel for having quite a few of guitars like that, and this is one of them. This guitar was purchased off of eBay, I would say in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, uh, it came with like this little small tweed amp, uh, strap, all these accessories and all that. Well, I got rid of all that stuff. Kept the guitar. I was really shocked at how the guitar uh, felt, the neck. There was no sharp fret edges. Um, it, it played rather well. Uh, I was like, holy crap. Again, this was late 90s, early 2000s off of eBay and I was just uh that's back when you had you know or, or I had back then AOL you've got mail you know had all that dial up crap and I was uh on eBay one day and I said you know I had a couple of hundred extra bucks man I said I wonder if I can find a guitar for a couple hundred dollars you know is it is it can you do that you know is that possible yes it's absolutely possible uh I've actually bought a uh Telecaster off of eBay years ago, it was. Does anybody remember Jay Terser? They were. It was all over eBay back in the day. Actually, up until not too long ago, I don't know if he still got stuff on there today or not. I haven't looked. I don't buy those guitars anymore. But I had my fair share of them, and some of them were actually pretty damn good. That Telecaster that I got though, it was ninety eight bucks, <laughs> and uh, it was it was bad. It was bad. <clears throat> but I had a um. Another Jay Terser is a Les Paul style. It was purple, and it was called the Purple Serpent, and I think it was like 350 and that was a really good guitar. I was like, damn, it was nice. But anyway, this guitar is not a Jay Terser. It was, uh, I don't know, probably you know some made in China somewhere, and, and uh, it's like a Carolina Blue. And the name on the headstock, uh, when I got it, said Stargazer. I was like, what the hell is that? So I took sandpaper and sanded that off and just kind of put my name up there with sharpies and all that you know and i just thought it looked better than stargazer but this guitar actually uh not the playability was not bad at all i was really really shocked um <clears throat> so the pros and cons with this guitar of course low budget guitar you're going to have uh real kind of sketchy electronics the pickups of course are not that great uh it's going to feed back uh, easily. Uh, if you just kind of know how to manipulate the system, this volume knob can also act as your noise gate. You know, if you just know how to work the volume knob properly. I mean, um, when you watch people play, uh, and I'm not trying to be funny or smart or anything, but it's just something that you notice if you really enjoy playing guitar and you kind of pay attention to things. If you watch somebody play and they get done, they'll turn down the volume knob. Somebody that's not really a seasoned player, they don't mess with that. They'll, the, the guitar is still going, making noise and all this, and they're trying to talk. I'm like, dude, cut the volume down. You know? <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> that's something that really comes in handy, man. If you just, it's just the simple use of the volume knob, you know, uh, in between. Uh, parts of a song like in, uh, in rests or whatever uh, when you're playing your rhythm cut your volume down just a little bit and then when you go to for your lead turn it all the way up you know uh, <clears throat> I mean that was taught to me by a drummer believe it or not uh, <clears throat> a band I was in uh, quite some time back I had it I had everything full throttle you know volume was always wide open and overdrive pedals and all this stuff and the guy was like hey man uh why don't you dial back that volume on the guitar a little bit you don't need to be wide open all the time the the, the song needs to have inflections in it you know you need to have the soft parts and then the volume will kick in on the chorus and all, just basic shit you know that i didn't fucking think about you know and i was like yeah that he's got a point you know and then sure enough i've done that ever since and that was years and years ago so the little things you can learn, man, <clears throat> from uh, other people that have been doing it for a long time. And he was a drummer, you know, but he he has played with so many uh, different types of musicians, man. 
uh, and done so many gigs. So I looked at it as a learning experience and it was, you know, I learned a lot in that band. Um, it's a little kind of intimidating. I'm not going to lie to you, especially in the beginning because it was, a. Uh, um, they were really good, you know, and I was like, man, I got to step up my game. And there was a lot of stuff I struggled with, man, but they were gracious, man. And they kind of let me develop a little bit at a time. And so I was able to do okay. You know, um, I believe I could do a lot better now, but that was a long time ago. And, and, uh, you know, life moves on and the drummer moved out of state. And so the band kind of just dissolved, you know, not long after that. Uh, Anyway, wow, going off track. But I would play this guitar sometimes at rehearsals when I was in that band. I would take it from time to time. And uh, because the pickups aren't really, really uh, strong, you know, it's really easy to get some really great clean tones with this or, you know, some great blues stuff with it. Uh, like I said, some of the cons, man, the electronics and all that, I mean, it's... Uh, it's really lightweight. It's, I mean, you know, it's, what, what do you expect for under 200 bucks? But the pros were, you know, no sharp fret edges, like I've said before. Um, it plays really well. The pots feel pretty good. The, the friction when you turn them, it doesn't feel really loose or really, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, selector switch, I mean, it's just, you know that it's, it's cheap, but it really wasn't, I was like, it really doesn't feel like it was made uh just you know uh, screw it just throw it in there i mean it is i don't know you know there's a, a bunch of squires fender squires i don't know about now but i know especially i have one that i've got it's a i think it was a, a 93 model squire or a 95 that uh plays phenomenally well man i mean it's put together and it plays great and it's a squire and that was a low budget guitar. I think at the time I paid three fifty, three sixty for it back then. And you know, uh, so uh, this is a close second. I mean, of course you can use some couple of upgrades like pickups or something like that. But but uh, man, I've never upgraded anything on this guitar. It's it's always played really well. Now, is it a guitar I play all the time? No. No, it's not. But sometimes when I just want to tinker around and maybe just uh, try to get some practice time in real quick, like today, as a matter of fact, before I leave for work, I'll grab a guitar out of the rack back here. The uh, my guitar rack, I think it holds five guitars, and those guitars are usually guitars that, that I don't play a whole lot. They're not in cases. They're sitting out, so they're going to get dusty. And you got to you know clean them, you know, once a week or something, just to so they don't build up a lot of dust. Um, but I just thought I would showcase a few of these guitars, man. And let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that's uh, you, something you'd like to see some more of? Um, and I'll try to play a song with them too, so you can kind of hear it in action. Um, so, all right. Until next time, this is Joe for the Jones Project TV, where guitars still live and breathe. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Lets me know that you care. And um, I hope to see your comments. Until then, we'll see you later. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.